Okay, next piece. Um, this is what I'm going to do next. Um, what I want to do next is I want to put this whole thing, my timeline, my two layers, all this stuff, I want to put it all into um, a movie clip and not have it on my main timeline, my scene one timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, start by uh, clicking and dragging. and I'm going to drag all the way to the end. Okay, whoops, there it goes. All right, that's it. Now I've got the whole thing highlighted, as you can see. And now I can just right-click on it anywhere and say Copy Frames, right? And now I can say Insert New Symbol, Movie Clip, and this will be Holder 3, I believe. Click OK, and there it is. And now what I can do is just select that first keyframe on Layer 1, right-click, and Paste Frames and then the whole thing pastes right into this movie clip. Now, to kind of paste it a little bit lower than I wanted, I could. there's a way to change that, but that's fine for right now. I'll hit go back to scene one. And now in, in scene one, believe it or not, I can um, delete this layer, and then I can make a new layer, and then I can delete the bottom layer. All right, so it's all, it looks like it's completely empty, right? I deleted everything, right? I'll just call this background for now. But in my library is my Holder 3 movie clip, which I can drag out, and now the whole thing is in a movie clip, so I can place it wherever I want to, right? And it's all good to go. So I'm going to place it down here. I'm going to give it the name Holder 3, all right? So now I have Holder 3. Inside Holder 3, I've got Holder 2. Inside Holder 2, I've got uh, Holder 1, two Holder 1s, which I'm not sure is going to work. And inside there, I've got Image 1, Image 2, Image 3, all that. Okay, so let's code this thing out. So I'm going to, right now, make a new layer for my actions. And I can just say holder 3 dot holder 2 dot holder 1 dot i1, image 1, right? Holder 3, Holder 2, Holder 1, dot I1, dot on press equals a function. Open and close parentheses, open curly brace, two lines down, close curly brace, right? And then right now I can just say, uh, let's see here, get, what is it, image, get, I for even tab load image I forget let's go see what it is open my index uh, is it no it's not get image see there was a get URL How about load? Let's go to L. I think it's under L. Load movie. Loads a load movie. Loads a Swift JPEG GIF. Okay, so it's load movie. Load movie and then I just need to give it the URL for the movie so um, let's say it's probably the wrong one but yeah let's say med 7jpeg okay I'm gonna put in quotation marks because I'm guessing right um, and right load movie jpeg one alright 
and if it just to make sure it works, let's say trace works, just in case. I want to know if this works at all. So I'm going to trace works here. Okay, so that's good. So there goes image one. And looks like I've got some output here. Um, and basically, All right. Um, it didn't like what I did there. I said, uh oh, that's wrong, Dan. You didn't do it right. Right? What you could do is, is just highlight load movie and then go to view help. Right? And it'll open up the help window. And it'll tell you what to do, essentially. Um, load movie. And you can put in a bunch of stuff. You know, let's say I had a place I wanted to load the movie into. So um, I could get like another square here. Right? There's my square. Convert it to a movie clip, F8. And you could say, I call it image holder. Okay? Right, and then give it the instance name image holder. Okay, and now, oops, I pasted it on the wrong layer. Let's cut it and paste it here. Okay, and now to change the code actions. Get rid of my help window into image holder. Okay. Now I need to make sure I save this file to where my images are. Save as. I've got to go and save this to my E drive, class folder, web design 09, week 15. Save. Now if I hit control enter, click on it. Okay. I get my works output, right? And the image goes into the image holder. All right. Now, it didn't work though with well, maybe it did. Let's try it again. Control enter. Didn't load it on that one. It loaded it on that one. So to fix this so that it works better, what I might do is um, double click on this, go into holder two, and then here are my two pieces, right? Holder one and holder one B. I'll just make that holder one B. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so holder one B, holder one, back to scene one get my code. This is obviously not ideal, but I could just copy the whole thing, paste it, and make this other one holder 1B. And now if I hit control enter and I click, it'll load the picture. Now, you say that's great Dan, but we don't want to see the red box. I could shift up the red box. I can move this down a little bit, right? Because um, the image is coming in bigger than I need it. Um, I'll move that up. And then for this, inside the box where this red box is, I could just select the red box, go to color, and lower the alpha. So now you won't see it at all. It'll just be on the stage, but you won't see it. Okay? So now control enter. I click on the image and it loads in. I also get the output my output window.